First day with my Karitra base layer, and we are gonna be wearing it for 30 days straight. Hello and welcome back to the Knack for Adventure YouTube channel. My name is AJ Cutler and today's video is going to be a little bit of an experiment. So Kari Tra has been a great supporter of women in the ski industry, especially my community the past couple years. Sammy Olson and Addie Jacobson, who are both in Renaissance Woman, the ski film that I produced last year, they were both repping Kari Tra in the film, which if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's on airtime streaming. I'll link it below. It's really awesome to see, you know, women-led brand also supporting other women in different ways. Their base layers are supposed to be awesome and I'm really excited to just put it to the test. It did come with this little tag that I'm gonna read because I think it's a really cute description and kind of an intro to Kari Tra. So it says, this is Kari Tra. In 2002, Kari Tra won Olympic gold in Salt Lake City. Cementing her position as a world-class freestyle skier, but she couldn't find her world-class sportswear made for women. So she decided to make it herself. The Caritra brand was born. We've come a long way since then, but our mission remains the same, to challenge the established and inspire girls to live their lives in full color. And of course, everything is made for girls by girls. And they have like the cutest little graphic. There it is. I've definitely been attracted to Kari Tra gear. I love all like the bright patterns, but it's also just made of a really great material. So, so I'm just gonna change the camera positioning and we're gonna get the full view. All right, here is the full look. This is the Rose Light base layer in the color Maple. First, let's talk about this top. This is just the long sleeve, basic long sleeve. They do have some hoodies and like little quarter zips. There's some with like little buttons, um, but I just opted for this nice simple long sleeve Here's the back. Now for the bottoms, I chose to get the capris. I have been really liking having capris just because I don't have all that extra fabric to like stuff into my boot or my sock. I really like the high-waisted fit that has this nice wide band. So it's very comfortable. I would like I would sleep in these. I'm I'm so excited to wear these every day. And I forgot the most important part. This is 100% merino wool. So it's just like very good quality. As far as price, the top is $120 and the bottom is also $120, which sounds really scary when you're buying base layers. Base layers are the things that are closest to your skin and it honestly determines whether you're going to have a bad day or not. No matter the conditions like the base layer can be the game changer. Highly suggest investing in your base layers and, you know, okay, let's do the math. If we do $120 times two divided by 30 days in a month, that is $8 a day. So if you go on for like multiple months or a year or however long this base layer lasts, like this is a good investment. I mean, just from the first day, I can already tell that this is very quality piece of clothing that I will be wearing for a good majority of the season. So, and I don't really want to take it off and I won't for a month. So I guess that's a good segue to talk about the parameters of our experiment. All right, so pretty much I only have really two rules. So number one, I'm going to be wearing the space layer set every day for 30 days. I would say like the majority of the day, whatever I'm doing, you know, definitely skiing, you know, going out running errands, editing, maybe I'll do some yoga, things like that, I'm going to be wearing it. Now for the second rule, I was kind of going back and forth on whether to do it or not, but I'm not gonna wash it. There's no, no washing allowed. I don't know, if it gets really bad, I'll definitely change it. I'm not off to a good start because I already forgot deodorant this morning and it smells like a little bit under the armpits, but everywhere else is like fine. And I think that if I just leave it out to like air overnight, it's, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, we're gonna get this one started. I'm super excited. I think it's starting to get cold and snowy here in Utah. So hopefully we'll have lots of ski days to look forward to and I'm stoked for this. Thanks so much to Kari Tra for letting me try this experiment and I think this is gonna be fun. I'll see you tomorrow.
It is day seven of wearing this base layer every day for 30 days. I mean, it's only been a week, so it hasn't been too long, but I will say that the base layer feels like it's breaking in a little bit more, forming to my body a little bit better, so it's just stretching out in the right places, and it's just getting more comfortable. I have been wearing this more than I expected, honestly. You know, I thought I would be going skiing and then coming back, changing into different clothes, but that's not really the case just because I still feel fairly fresh afterwards and it's just so damn comfortable. I just like forget to take it off. It has been starting to smell just like a little bit in the armpits, but that's usually just at the end of the day. I just put it on some hangers, let it air out overnight, and it usually is smelling better in the morning. We'll see how long that lasts. I feel like I need to ask other people, but I don't know how to approach them with that. I don't know. It's going great. All right, we've got another day of skiing ahead of us, so I'm gonna get packed up and let's go shred. What about now? Of course, the only way to finish out the 30 days was with a classic winter photo shoot. What an absolutely fantastic month. You know, December was full of 
a lot of the things that I love to do, but it was also full of a lot of rest. So it was really nice to have something like this to wear every single day, no matter what I was doing. However, I do just want to touch base on some of the things that I was kind of paying attention throughout the month, as well as give you a final conclusion on how this month-long experiment went. So let's chat about some of the things that I was kind of noting every single day. So the first one is the smell of the garment. One of the properties of merino wool is its ability to kind of repel odor. It's a natural fiber, so there are a lot of rough edges. Artificial fibers, polyester, things like that, they are more smooth, so it's a lot easier for bacteria to kind of soak into the garment. At the end of each day, the base layers didn't really smell that good. Specifically the long sleeve, like in the armpits was the worst. However, I would leave it out overnight to kind of hang and dry out. And usually by the morning, it was smelling better. So something that I just learned, which I think is super fascinating, is that merino wool kind of has this self-cleaning effect. Fiber itself is made up of two different cells. And so they rub together constantly. And because of this, it naturally kind of cleans itself and cleans itself of any sort of bacteria. So and I think because of that self-cleaning effect, you know, whenever I put the base layer on at the beginning of the day, I did feel pretty fresh. Um, you know, it wasn't like crusty or sweaty or dirty. It just, it just felt like a normal piece of clothing. And the last thing I was paying attention to was the fit of the base layer. So if we take a look at the first day, you can kind of see that it is overall tighter. I would say specifically, I noticed it in like the arm, elbow area, as well as like the thigh area. Throughout the month, it got looser and looser as I moved around in it and sweat in it. Honestly, I'm not mad about that. I kind of expect clothes to do that. That's why I shop secondhand is primarily because I do not like the break-in process for clothes. Uh, I like when they feel worn and they feel fit in and fitting to my body. So now let's bring it back to those two main rules and kind of chat about if I paid attention to them or not. So the first one, wearing it every day for 30 days. Of course I did this. I, I tried it. I really tried to wear at least like six to eight hours a day, especially during those first two weeks. I, I wore this as soon as I got up to when I went to bed. However, let's talk about that second rule. No washing. Did I wash it? I'll leave it up to you if I followed the rules or not, but you know, I think it was the 15th or 16th day. Uh, we went skiing at Brighton and I way overdressed. You know, I was wearing my base layer and then this giant insulated puffy. It was probably 35 degrees and I just sweat my ass off. I don't think the base layer ever recovered after that day. Probably for like the next two days, I kind of just like dealt with it and tried to do the air dry technique, but it just like didn't work. So I definitely had to scrub down the pits uh, on, the, on the 17th or 18th day, just because I, <laughs> I was going skiing with other people and I was so self-conscious about like lifting my arms up. I don't know, do you think that counts or not? It was just like, it was just like a little spot clean. And I just like, all in all, if you're looking for a base layer, I highly suggest picking merino wool. All of those things that I mentioned before, but it's also a natural, biodegradable fiber and so in the long run this is going to be your best sustainable option this is now all washed and ready to go for the rest of the season so i'm excited to be sporting this in our next youtube video with kari tra which will be a little shred session with the rest of the kari tra ambassadors if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our youtube channel as well as check out our other social channels which i will put here below Thanks so much to Kari Tra for being the sponsor of this week's video and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and keep on crushing. Comfortable, comfortable, a little bit more comfortable and it's just getting more comfortable. It's so damn comfortable.